so children today we will read one lesson from your english textbook marigold dear children have you ever talked with any bird or any animal do you understand their language but i know one boy who talk with the birds the animals and they also talk with him they are very good friends do you know him yes he is hayavatha let us know about him dear children have you ever talked with any bird or any animal do you understand their language but i know one boy who talk with the birds the animals and they also talk with him they are very good friends do you know him yes he is hayavatha let us know about him children let us enjoy this poem hayavatha hayavatha was a young red indian boy he lived with his old grandmother nokomis in a wigwam nokomis taught hayavatha about the wonders around them she told him about the stars the trees the insects the birds the animals and many other things hayavatha grew up to love them all he could talk to the birds and the animals and they to him children see hayavatha is playing with the birds and animals hayavatha was a red indian boy so children let us enjoy this poem then the little hayavatha learned of every bird its language learned their names and all their secrets how they build their nests in summer where they hid themselves in winter talked with them whenever he made them called them hayavatha's chickens of all beasts he learned the language learned their names and all their secrets how the beavers built their lodges where the squirrels hid their acorns how the reindeer ran so swiftly why the rabbit was so timid talked with them whenever he met them called them hayavatha's brothers children do you want to know who wrote this poem hayavatha he was henry wordsworth longfellow h w longfellow was an american poet and educator let's know some new words of this poem first wigwam a dome shaped hut or tent made by fashioning mats skins or bark over a framework of poles as used formerly by some north american indian people next word is acorn means not of the oaks you see the pictures a squirrel with a corn is seen here beaver a furry animal with a big flat tail and large teeth you have seen in the poem the beavers built lodge 
and you can see the picture of lodge also there behind the beaver next is reindeer you see the picture a species of deer seen in north america next word is timid it means shy or nervous when you are afraid of something or somebody then you feel you are timid you can also say that who are in your class who are shy in nature who feel nervous when the teacher ask them something they are timid then comes whisper means speak in a low or soft voice look at the picture how the girl is saying something to the ear of the boy in a very low and soft voice that one may not listen may not understand what she is speaking that is whispering children let's summarize can you see about hiawatha some points are written there you can also say i am just reading the points first he was a red indian boy and hiawatha he loves nature and its creation he knows languages of all birds and animals he lives with nokomis who is nokomis his grandmother dear children you must learn this poem this is a very beautiful poem and now we will see the pairing of words where one word is a describing word and the second one is a naming word let us see some examples sir there you can also write on your notebooks about word pairing here the first word is happy henry you can see the words are starting with h happy henry hungry hippopotamus high horse heavy hand you can also say some examples of word pairing children have you ever come across some words they sound very similar but they have different meanings and also different spellings but they sound very similar such words are called homophones homophones are words that sound alike but have different spellings and meanings for example there is a pear that is good to eat and second word is i use a pair of gloves because i have two hands pay attention to see how the following homophones are spelled children some examples of homophones are given here bow bow tell tell t a i l tell t a l e tell can you give some example the monkey has a long tail and i love to listen fairy tell then no and no do you know a secret then you can say no i don't know one more picture you see one more homophones that is they are there and there 
see the first picture they are standing with their plants here they are means it's for the three girls they are standing with their plants next the books are right there means the books are there then diwali is their favorite festival so here we see three types of they are are there their spellings are different their meanings are different but they sound same children let's know about pronoun what is a pronoun the words that replace nouns they are called pronoun example jack and milly came to tea jack is he and milly is she and little sushi well that's me so can you give me some examples suppose she is rita rita is a girl of your class rita is tall rita reads well rita sings well so for rita we can use she that she is reading or she is singing like that for any boy suppose pratyaksh we can say pratyaksh is the monitor of our class he is a very good boy he is very talented like that we can use he or she in place of writing their name many more examples are also there you have to collect those and write those pronouns in your notebook children now some homework for you because you have read the poem you came to know about some grammar like homophones pronouns and all these things now you are able to do the homework so you have to do this on your homework notebooks the question are like this first who was hayavatha second who was nokomes third what did he learn about the birds four what secrets did he learn about bees five make five pair of words one a describing word and one a naming word for example crispy potatoes i hope you all can do this and you can show the homework to your teacher children some project work is also there for you it's very interesting what you have to do is you have to take one a4 size paper or one fourth of any drawing sheet of any color you have to write the names of homes of five animals or birds and draw or paste their picture and second one is see the picture of jungle and say five sentences about it you have to fa- say five sentences and you have to record it and you have to send the record the audio recording to your english teacher i hope it's very easy project work and i hope that you will enjoy this work thank you and have a wonderful day